So we have the update 2.4 that came out on the Remarkable 2 some days ago and I waited until I was able to actually give it a proper go so that I can compare the numbers and all that kind of stuff. So I kept my unit not updated when I started filming this video so that I can compare the timing of loading documents and all that kind of stuff and then make a direct comparison with the update 2.4. So let's check that out. All right, so since update 2.4 is, um, yeah, even though it has a point, new point number, it's basically just an optimization uh, update. So that's gonna be interesting to compare to 2.3. Now, I haven't purposefully upgraded mine yet, and I have auto update off. So this one is still at 2.3. And what I intend to do is to measure the startup, um, and see how long does it take to convert EPUB format because they have a new EPUB uh, font that's supposed to be more optimized. Also, how does it handle large PDF files, opening and all that kind of stuff. And then I'm gonna update to 2.4, perform the exact same actions and compare the results with the timer. So let's do that. First, let's do the startup. There we go, it's starting up. And of course, I'll be doing the checkout to see if, um, yeah, if the jagged lines are maybe, maybe improved or not. Who knows? And of course, uh, all the timing and stuff I'm going to be doing in the um, post edit here when, when I put a timer so I can get the exact numbers. Um, but yeah, so we have a power up. Let's open up an EPUB. So let's do the same one, which is the big one, the uh, Monte Cristo. And yeah, this is this is going to hurt. But uh, yeah, still, we got to do it. So I'm just going to go to text settings and I'm just going to do one change because otherwise it's going to take a long time. So I'm just going to change from the third font size to the second font size and wait. Right, so it's performed the change. I'm gonna check the available storage. So it's at 6.41 gigabytes. Maybe they've optimized that, who knows? We shall see. And finally, I wanna perform the Hercules DJ C start guide. Let's now swipe and see how long it takes to actually load that image. I think that's gonna be the best uh, show of performance difference. So. Perfect. We're gonna have that very nicely. Okay, so that was nice and quick. And I think now I have everything and I can update. If I have the update. Yep, I have the update. So now it's downloading. And so the release notes were so it should be a more responsive general in the main interface. Uh, the improvement for the search results will show the location as well. And you can long press on the search result uh, to select and locate it rather than just open it. All right. Then we have eraser improvement. The last used eraser now is remembered, just like with pens and brushes, making it easier to erase with your preferred thickness. Cool. Uh, replaced font. In our EPUB font selection, the Christopher Rough font has been replaced with the EB uh, Garmound font, which we think allows for a much better reading experience. All right, so not much speed improvement notice there. Other improvements. And finally, as a precaution, we now ask for your passcode if you have it turned on when you're performing a factory reset. All right, so basically the main menu and some performance updates should be there more snappy type of opening and i think it is yeah it feels a little bit more snappy which is kind of cool
So the first thing that I want to double check is basically a cold boot. So I'm just going to shut it down. All right. And now let's turn it back on with the update 2.4. There we go. So we'll compare that timing. I'm going to format back from font size 3 to 2. It's exact same, same thing that I did on 2.3 so that we have the exact same type of test. So let's do that and that we can compare the times in a fair manner. All right, so that's done and let's see the new font, how it looks like. Oh no, yeah, okay. Congratulations, you have loaded. So this is the new font that comes with the update 2.4. Very readable and it gives me a nice type of book feel. So yeah, it's a good font. Uh, just yeah, there, there's no speed improvements in uh, EPUB formatting. So that's a bit of a problem. But yeah, okay, too bad that was not optimized in 2.4. Available storage is the same. Let's repeat that test and see how it opens up now on 2.4. So page two, and we go back. I'm not sure if it was faster in 2.3, maybe, well, we'll see. We'll see in the, uh, when the timer is placed on top. So we have that covered. All right, so now let's test out the new functionalities that you talked about and there we go. So it actually says uh, the location where the stuff is located in the directory structure, which is great. Um, so let's say that I'm looking for Evolver and there we go, it finds it very, very quickly, very, very fast as far as the results go. So I should be able to long press and it goes to the location instead of opening it up, which is kind of cool. So if you have a very deep uh, type of folder structure, this definitely works. Let's try it on something else. Um, Mars, for example. Yes, it is better. And I think that the responsiveness of the keyboard is also a little bit better. I'm going to try that when I do a text conversion because I know the previous one was quite laggy and missing out on some of the types. So I'm just going to test that out and let's see here. So geology of Mars, if I tap it, it should open it. Yeah. Okay. And if I now search for Mars, and if I long press it, it opens up the location of it. Excellent. And selects the document as well. So I really like this improvement. Let's try and uh, check out the uh, typing on the keyboard. So I need to write something. Go something, convert to text. There we go. And now I can write. So I can. No, it's the same. Yeah. I can type on the keyboard, but, it, but it's missing out bits. Okay, so the keyboard has not been optimized yet. So, same type of functionality as before. Well, you tell you what, as we're already here, let's test out the jagged lines thingy. Let's see. 
No, they're still there. So yeah, it's uh, pretty much jaggedy as before. And let's try the same test that I did before. Yeah, jaggedy as as it was before. So nope, in my case, uh, the 2.4 did not get rid of these. And let's test the eraser. So let's go ahead and change the eraser settings. Oh, the menus are much more snappier. Okay, so this is definitely improved. This kind of jumping between the menus, very much so improved. It's not consistently so, but this has been significantly improved. Absolutely. So a big, big improvement there, definitely. I mean, you can just see how snappy it is. So that's a nice, nice thing. All right, so this is how it used to work on the Remarkable 1 or Remarkable 2.3. Um, so basically, I'm just going to open up three different notebooks. And in this one, I'm going to... Oh, no, 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 not erase all. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to do erase selection on this one. So if I have erase selection here and I switch to this one and I'm back here, it would forget. So as soon as you would switch to the pen, the eraser would forget which type it was, but it, it wouldn't forget which thickness it was. So the brush thickness for the eraser would be remembered. So for example, I can go here to notebook one and yeah, it remembered that it was thin. And if I go to notebook, I believe I left it at medium. Yes. And now if and even if I go to the pen and go back to the eraser, it remembers it. And this is the old type of behavior. And in Studio Connections, now I should be able to switch between these guys and this would be thick. So that worked. The thing that didn't work was if I switched it to the eraser type. So if it was eraser uh, selection and if I would switch to the pen and then back to the eraser, no, it, it worked. Okay, so that worked. Okay, but now if I go to another one, it remembers the type, normal type, normal thickness. And if I go back to the one that was eraser selection, it should forget it. No, it has it. But if I go to a pen, Okay, so if you had erase selection, you changed the notebook and then you went to the brush and then you returned it to the eraser, it, for, it would forget not the brush thickness or the eraser thickness, but the eraser type. Now this has been fixed in this one, I think. So erase selection. Okay, and if I go into the brush, and okay, so this guy has erase selection set. Let's see, illustrating on the remarkable erase selection. Then this one is going to be a normal eraser and it should be a thin, which he remembered. And let's try and switch between the brush and the eraser and it still remembers. Okay, now let's try this guy switch between and so much faster switching between the tools it's a uh, really really a big uh, difference and now if i go back to this guy who was erase selection it is remembered so that bug has been fixed uh, translated into uh, feature improvement but all oh, right in my world that's a bug fix but it's a welcome bug fix so now the eraser works uh, that way all right, so I'm going to test out the previous bug that was there with the eraser and uh, yeah, I'm just going to repeat the same stuff that I did before to actually get the same result. So if I grab an eraser here and yeah, erase a bit of a hole there. If I grab a selection and now if I move that over here, that hole should show Oh yeah, okay. So that that's uh, most definitely not fixed as far as the eraser goes. So that same 
bugged out behavior is still present. I don't think this is a case where people say that it's a um, white stroke. Uh, on the contrary, I think this is transparency, but it's not aware of on the same layer if there's something underneath it. So I think it's simply remembering what was, which strokes were labeled as transparent and it keeps them like that, uh, where in fact upon transform it should kind of forget that selection and just re-establish the new ones because after a few strokes it's going to forget this and then it's going to behave normally i hope but yeah the same behavior is still present on 2.4 as well all right so the biggest focus of the release 2.4 is the uh, update of speed and basically uh, responsiveness the, in the main menu and the navigation but mostly mostly in the notebooks when you're switching between the tools it's just a huge huge speed update so now it feels very very f uh, fast i don't know if remarkable one is getting that kind of uh, update yet i haven't checked but if it does, it's going to be interesting to see if the Remarkable one has been also sped up or not. Short addendum, um, because I'm now editing this video and I've had a chance to actually compare the numbers and see the timers and stuff. And that actually shown a, quite a different light on the overall performance update. So while the menu and tool switching performance most definitely is improved and it's really, really good, um, it's, uh, it's weird because quite a lot of things performance wise are slower, measurably slower and not just like one occurrence i kind of repeated them and i got the same results and uh, the most confounding and baffling one for me is the loading of that hercules uh, image because yeah even when i was recording it was like hey is that a little bit too long yeah most definitely it's too long and i tried and i tried and i tried and it's always 14.9 or 15.2 seconds or something like that um and i also checked out on remarkable one which was still updated at 2.3 uh, the loading was at around those four and a half five seconds and yeah also when i updated the remarkable one to the 2.4 it also loads uh slower so it's not just a remarkable two issue it's something that's been introduced in the uh update 2.4 so yeah everything that i tested uh startup epub reformatting uh and basically loading of a very heavy content is actually slower than when it was on 2.3 so that's kind of sucky um, but yeah those tools they are mighty mighty quick and for me that matters most so yeah kind of a weird situation there i would say but anyway back to old me with the longer messier hair the search functionality I also like how it's been updated because it allows you to uh, find your files and navigate ar around your directory structure in a more um, productive way. So especially by uh, press and hold to actually get into the uh, location of the file but without going into the file. So that's a very nice addition. The eraser functionality has been improved but the bug with the transparent strokes is still there. So some more work left there. And yeah, as far as the APUB font i do like how it looks like but i can't really overlook the elephant in the room which is the epub formatting which is still unoptimized so yeah that one's still left to go and regarding the question jagged lines those that they are affected with it does the 2.4 uh, fix it no for me it did not all right i hope you liked the video if you did please like and subscribe and stay safe stay healthy and see you in the next video bye